Hubby, welcome to another video, and today I'll be real showing you how to make a mod menu for Gorilla Tech. So this uh this template is probably the best template you'll ever use to make a mod menu. Move around buttons, it's very customizable, it's just very good. So yeah, let's get right onto it. You need a computer, obviously, Windows 10, Windows 11, Windows 9, I believe, if you can use that. Um and yeah, so First of all, go in the description, go inside the Visual Studio link. It should pop up with this or make you download a file. Go ahead and download it and then wait for it to download. Now, once this downloads, you want to double click it and it, it'll pop up like this. Click on yes, make sure to click yes. And then it'll pop up with this, click on continue. It'll say this. Now, this will take a while to install. Um, uh, depending on your internet speed, my internet's not very fast, so. It might take a little bit, so let me just cut. Alright, so now that it downloaded, as you can see, uh, it won't pop up like this, but it should pop up like, uh, let's see, it, it might pop up like, um, it'll pop up like there's like a thing right here. Uh, you want to click on the .NET, the .NET one, and the Unity one. I'm pretty sure you need the Unity one, I'm not very sure. Uh, if you want, if you don't want to use that, you don't want, you don't have to. But once you do that, then click install, it should be somewhere down here, and then install it. Once you're done with that, once that fully installs, it might take like uh, 30 minutes or so, because it's a pretty big thing. You can close out of the Visual Studio Launcher, or installer, and then go ahead and go to the second link called Menu Template. Go ahead, go in here, and then it should pop up like this. All you want to do is click this download button right here. But as you can see, it already downloaded for me, so go ahead and open this. Uh, then you want to click on extract all, doesn't matter, uh, how you open up the .zip file, you just have to extract it. I use the normal Windows one, so I have to click this. Then, once it's extracted, go to the place, do the, go to the extracted folder, go ahead and open this up, and you should see a bunch of this stuff. Uh, basically, you don't, don't delete anything or do anything. Boot up the .csproj right here, um, not the SLN, the .csproj. And then, something like this should pop up. Or, and then it should look like this. Um, if it doesn't look like this, you should probably zoom out. Or if you want to, you can zoom in. Go ahead and hold down control and then you use your use your scroll wheel to zoom in and out. So that's all the setting up stuff. Go ahead and go to the next episode to actually start developing.